Hello, you guys. Welcome to Lovecast, the boys' love podcast, where we talk about everything related to boys' love. I'm your host, Kayla, and with me are my co-hosts, Pixie and Alexa. Hey. Hi. So our listeners know that we are big fans of Game Boys. We bring up the franchise on a weekly basis, (laughs) and that's not exaggerating. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and we previously had Adriana on the show. So that being said, we're honored to have another member of the cast joining us today from Game Boys and Pearl Next Door. We have Achilles himself, Kitch Minamoto. Yay! Yay. Welcome. Hello, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you I'm for being here. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is good. <laughs> oh no, that's great. So we received a ton of questions from your fans, but before mm-hmm. we get into them, congrats on being named a rising star. Yes. Uh-huh. yes. <laughs> How do you feel about that. receiving that? You didn't expect it? <laughs> yeah, I really didn't expect it because uh I don't know. I mean it's pandemic. Uh something bad is happening and then there's a good thing that's going yeah. to happen and it's mm-hmm. it's really makes emotions you know yeah 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 so speaking of your rise I guess from where you are now I'm curious what inspired you to start acting because we hear that you started in theater yeah I started in theater when I was 13 years old I guess yeah and then I really pushed through the movie industry 2018 nice. and uh, I was I, I really asked myself during that time uh, what's the thing that I really want to do like you know mm-hmm. like my passion even though you're working you won't get tired because it's your passion then I realized I really love acting and that time I, I, I have to choose like three things that I have to do because I really when I was teenager I really do things a lot like I do sports I go surfing Mm -hmm. I do traveling Mm -hmm. so many things so I think I have to choose three top three so I chose um I I chose acting and the second one is like uh, photography and the other one is like mixed media I'm going to like shows exhibits so yeah that's it (laughs) cool I was just gonna say this is just like a random question what's your favorite theater production that you've been in Oh, oh! I think uh, Tanghalang Pilipino. Uh, it's uh, it's from uh, CCP Cultural Center of the Philippines. So okay. you know, I'm gonna share something. Like before, <laughs> I, when I was just passing by to that theater, I was like, man, um, soon I'll just mm-hmm. go in and out from that theater because I'm part of the production. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. now when I was entering the the uh, what they call this the rehearsal place I was like man mm-hmm. this is it I, I made it you like, had that moment yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so cool manifest yeah <laughs> manifest <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so how do you think your experience in theater helped you to prepare for your roles in tv and movies I think it helped me like going to oh no switches I mean there's a time in theater you have to switch your character in just three seconds, you know? Mm-hmm. And as an actor, it's really hard to give up on character. Uh, you have to spend time for it. And yeah, I think that's what I got from theater to the film. But it's also hard to adjust because theater's acting is really big compared to mm-hmm. film, right? So... Uh, by the time that I entered the uh, theater, that was the time also that I got my first in the film, in the film. Mm-hmm. So I really uh-huh. don't know, during the time, I really don't know what's the difference about theater and in the film. So mm-hmm. 2018 was just a crazy ride for me. <laughs> that was the time that I really know that, oh, okay, I should like tone down on my emotion and something right. like that. So because the directors are keep on telling me, Mm, give your energy a little tone down. You have to tone down, Kitch. <laughs> <Chill, chill. laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine Good. because theater is just so expressive in general, yeah. like you said. Um, 
But yeah, moving into like Game Boy specifically, congratulations on the Emmy nomination. Yes. That's so wild. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like imagine actually... something like that could happen? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not, you see the reactions like no, really. <laughs> You know, we started in during pandemic, it and it's it's just a small production, mm-hmm. right? So it's really hard. You know, it's really unbelievable to be there, like see the mm-hmm. poster there. So thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's. I know we were all freaking out when we saw it, so I can only imagine yeah. how like you guys. Felt. Everyone really freaks out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where yeah, were it's... you? Like, what were you doing when you heard the news that? Game Boys was nominated. I was here in my room, like I'm preparing my my because I just launched my business last week, Spring mm-hmm. Vido, and I was like fixing it. And it's like morning eh, during that time. So when I saw the picture, it's like, wait, 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 is this a prank? <laughs> is this a prank? Am I still asleep? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I I checked the the uh, the share and everything, and it's real. It's like. Wow, wow, that's, that's my <laughs> initial reaction. <laughs> like a surreal feeling. Like, how is yeah. this happening? Um, yeah. Did you were you able to celebrate, or I'm not sure if you're able to with COVID? Oh, uh, yeah, mm, yeah, I think no, we just celebrated in our group chat. Yeah, virtual <laughs> celebration. <laughs> that's, that's it's very appropriate yeah. thinking like Game Boys and you celebrate <laughs> virtually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah Achilles is a very fun character I'm oh my God, curious yes. about <laughs> what um what important thing do you think that you learn from playing that role Achilles um I think I learned that you just have to be yourself mm-hmm. you, I, I keep on telling this but it's like you know, you have to be your, yourself. You don't have to please anyone as long as you're not making any bad things with them, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, love is love. And, you know, you can, like Terence to, to, I mean, Achilles to Terence. You can, Achilles can please Terence, right? So, mm-hmm. okay, be it. I'll just be myself and do my life, move on, right? That's nice. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What is it like knowing that you are like a part of Game Boys? <laughs> I don't know if that question makes sense because I feel like this series and then the movie, like it's come a long way. What does it feel like being a part of just like that phenomenon? Uh, it's really, it's really, it's really, I, I don't know how to explain it also because yeah. before when I was starting in the film industry, I was looking up to idea first so since before I can see their their works their art art films and everything mm. so I, I also said to myself that hey, I hope one day I could be part of this production and now <laughs> I'm here and now I'm in Game Boy so it's really <laughs> surreal like uh, uh, I want to prove more things to idea first and it's really a good management for it mm. and being part of Game Boys being with Elijah, Coco, Kyle, mm-hmm. Maggie, and our again is, is such an honor. I'm really yeah. thankful that I'm with the great people and great friends and family. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, I feel like you are like the definition of like manifesting works between the yeah. theater company and then idea first. You're just getting it all through that manifestation. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to work on it yeah yeah you, know that, you, you can just uh-huh. imagine and manifest you have to really work on it work yeah hard. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah did you know about like the boys love genre before you um became a part of game boys yeah i heard the game boys industry already i've been watching some of the the clips yeah. so yeah i'm really familiar about it then when the game boys was released i was also watching it <laughs> you know, many things happened. Like I, I should be. I, I got a message from other BL, BL movies and shows. But right, you know, I think Game Boy is really for me. Yeah, a yeah. lot of things yeah. happen. I get that. Really, I get that. Really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, when you were filming the Game Boys movie, do you have any like special memories or a memory that sticks out to you while you were filming? I think the best memory that I had, I think this is also the worst and the best memory because mm. this is the time when the first cycle, uh, I we, we were locked in. And then after we had our first day, I got sick. But not oh, because no. of COVID, okay? Because we <laughs> no. were down. Like, me and the class were down. <laughs> and I didn't adopt the weather because it's cold in Tagaytay. But in Manila, it's really mm. hot in here. Mm. So, mm-hmm. it's really cold in Tagaytay. Then, I didn't adopt the weather, so I got colds. So, I, I saw the, you know, the care and the love of the Idea First family and the cast mm. of the crew. Not just a, as co-workers, but like, they're really concerned because in in our industry, it's really hard to trust people. Right. You, know, you don't know if they're really your co-workers or they're really your friends. So right. I think uh-huh. that was the best memory because I can tell who's the real people to me mm-hmm. during the time. Yeah. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it does seem like the ID first, like whole company and everyone seems really close and, and mm-hmm. nice. It's uh, it feels really like a big family. And that's why sort of the fans, too, are so invested and, and yeah. just so into this because of, yeah, it, it just feels good it's it's that good uh, vibes <laughs> yeah the surroundings yeah. is really good you know when i was mm-hmm. not still in the under idea first uh when you're part of some of their uh, movies they're gonna invite you to their christmas party so mm. i just went there and you can feel the love i mean the boss that first and direct june you can see the love their love to the to the crew like right. we have a mm-hmm. costume they, they have like a theme like a costume mm-hmm. party and I love gonna that. Give up cash prize. Who's gonna if who's gonna win on that? You know that. That's cool. That I know competition or like costume party, and then yeah. they're gonna give games and they they're gonna give cash money about it. And, you know money, yeah. cash money. Is good. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so cool. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say it's it's nice when you can see the company taking care of everyone behind the scenes too because obviously you know they want to take care of the actors because they're the face of the company or whatever but knowing that they take care of everyone behind the scenes and are putting out those efforts to like create fun events and and bring everyone together that's really cool to hear about yeah yeah I was just gonna say that even if I go on Twitter and I see people from the production posting behind the scenes things, I'm like, this is so cool. Everything feels like so close and mm-hmm. relatable, like a family. Um, and I do remember seeing clips of <laughs> someone dancing at a Christmas party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that was a direct event. I think it was him. Yeah. You know, we had to, we, uh, there's like uh, direct June and the idea for family family had like a, a dance competition. You have to dance this uh, you know, dance craze, and whoever gets the best dance, you're gonna get a uh, you're gonna win. You're gonna get, you're gonna get the cash money. And uh, Derek Ivan was my teammate, so Derek Ivan was really competitive. And he said, like <laughs> before before the the party, we have to rent a uh, space, and then we have to rehearse. And oh my god, <laughs> we have to rehearse. Oh, and hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> this is not Shout a game. I love you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining him like teaching you choreography. Like, okay, we have to do this. <laughs> He's that's a game. So, that's so funny. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go find that clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it oh sounds God. like so much fun. <laughs> it does. Mm. Um, <laughs> anyway, getting back to, I guess, Game Boys, do you have a favorite scene that you filmed from the movie? Uh, from the movie, mm-hmm. I think the part when we were already saying goodbye to each other. Mm. Mm. It's like, man, we're here. That hit, that hit, one, that one hit in the feels. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like. <laughs> It's really, I think I don't have to explain anything. If you just watched it, 
you can just you know ah okay yeah mm-hmm. now I know because just yeah <laughs> the feels right the, yeah. the the energy of the the characters it's yeah. there you know they, yeah. sometimes I think even though you just have you just have to see look at their face it's really oh they're really saying something even though they're not throwing any yeah. eggs. Mm-hmm. I remember I was watching it and I was already emotional from the whole scene. But then there was this shot of Adriana before she went to hug Elijah and Kukoi and just like the look on her face. I was just like tears all <laughs> over again. Like you like you said, you could see the real emotion mm-hmm. that was in it. And it just hit me. I was like, oh, my God, I'm crying so hard. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I never imagined when I first started watching Game Boy season one that I was gonna feel so much from the show. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I, I it's awesome. Yeah, the movie. I feel like the movie was just like it was Game Boy's the series, but with elevated emotions the whole time, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which made it made it really transformative, and mm. I feel like. Made series evolve in a lot of ways yeah for sure um which is like a roller coaster yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i personally want to know if you have a favorite memory filming pearl next door because mm. i'm pearl next door it needs more love <laughs> you have to mention it. My, my favorite uh my favorite what do you call this my favorite scene in Pearl Next Door mm-hmm. is when I met when I met Philip. Mm. <laughs> when I met Fonzie. <laughs> it's like, hi Fonzie, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, Achilles, calm down. <laughs> okay, Achilles and you jumped out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Achilles wants to go out because he just signed off, you know. <laughs> the last credits in the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, when you were preparing to play the role of Achilles, were there any specific characters in media or people in real life that you studied to embody Achilles or were inspired by? Uh. Yeah, I, I studied Paolo Ballesteros. He's a great actor here in the mm. Philippines. And he has uh, projects also with the idea first. Uh, okay. Fantasy sister, I guess. Yeah. So mm. that's what Derek Percy told me. Uh, this is her peg. So mm-hmm. he's he's like my... He's like Achilles. For real. <laughs> if you watch this interviews, <laughs> Oh, this is Achilles. You could, you could see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how do you usually get ready to just play a character in TV or film? Do you have like a ritual or a routine that you go through? Before I had this ritual, like meditating before before studying the character. But um, first, I'm just going to look there. You know, if, for example, if I have this person like Paolo Ballesteros, I'm going to check his interviews, the way he moves, his uh, intuition while talking. And like his, what do you call this? I forgot. Um, nuances. And right. I just I have to take note of that because that's the the small details that people could could see. You know, for me it's like a small details, but for the people watching, it's like, oh, okay, this is his, this is the this is the real character. This is the real right. person. And you know, meditating also helps me to clear out my myself like kitsch to the character you have to cleanse yourself also before going <laughs> to another character right because it's hard if if you're already like bringing the problems and the happiness of of yourself to the character because the happiness of the character is different to the happiness of the real you right so yeah mm-hmm. that's it <laughs> yeah that's really interesting mm-hmm. yeah um this next question I think is really interesting. Um, what is your what is your favorite thing about Achilles and your least favorite? Hmm. I think my favorite about Achilles is he is very happy, positive person. Mm. You know, he, yeah. he doesn't 
you don't give an F to other people. Not like not like <laughs> really F. Like I just I just wanna have a beautiful day, like me, beautiful like that. So <laughs> you just want to have a wonderful day, and he wants to spread positivity to other people. Mm. And the negative thing, I mean, the least thing that I don't like about uh, Akil is he's in denial about his sadness. You know, if he feels mm. sad, he would just like. No, let's forget it. But so, you know, sometimes it's also okay to acknowledge your sadness. Yeah, gotta but feel that's it the that's the thing mm-hmm. about the kill is he does he's in denial. He he still <coughs> shows that he's he's still okay. But you yeah. know, sometimes you have to embrace it. <laughs> yeah, I think Achilles is a lot like Pearl in the sense that they're a breath of fresh air. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There, <laughs> there are a lot of parts in Game Boys that you don't expect it to get as sad as it does mm. <laughs> but then it always comes yeah. back around to like achilles or pearl putting out this like really good message about love and mm. just taking yeah. care of each other which i think is great <laughs> yeah. um if you were not playing achilles in game boys what other character would you want to try playing uh i think I would try Terrence. Mm. <laughs> Terrence? <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. Because I, I want to know what's, what's his perspective to Achilles during the time that they were really close. Mm. Right. Yeah. If, mm-hmm, does he sure. really like Achilles? Does he really like... What, what, what's, what's, what, what's up with Terrence? Why he's like, he's very kind to Achilles, right? <laughs> So I think Achilles d- doesn't know that. So I think I want to know it because sometimes as an actor, your character has a question to you, but you as a person, you can't answer it. So I think I right. want to know to then. So I, so I could tell it to Achilles. <laughs> Figure out his motivation. <laughs> yeah. That's really Achilles is like my best friend. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the perspective sometimes. of getting into <laughs> Terrence's head. <laughs> yeah. Figure yeah. out what's going on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Achilles is a character like many of the characters in Game Boys that there are a lot of people out there who relate to him and in their own ways they are Achilles. So what would you want to say to people who are like Achilles out there who might be struggling to move on from a crush or a breakup something like that yes self-love <laughs> self-love yes. I mean, if, yes. yeah if the person doesn't like it, it's okay i mean mm-hmm. i'm sure you deserve someone better and mm-hmm. yes you have to focus on yourself if you give value to yourself people will give value to you 100 mm, percent. like that giving so value great. to yourself yeah 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 Yeah, it's important to take care of yourself. Like, you can't expect anyone to love you if you don't love yourself. Mm. Yeah, Um, that kind of answers the next one. Um, But as Achilles, do you think romantic love is necessary to be happy? Do you think think Achilles would think that, I guess? I think no. Mm. Achilles is a very independent person. He doesn't need anyone to be happy. He, he right. enjoys his time alone mm-hmm. because if if he if he needs someone maybe he could have a guy during the thirteen point five right mm-hmm. right but during mm-hmm. that time he's just enjoying himself yeah what go what whatever it flows that's it <laughs> man I I wish I had that kind of energy <laughs> <laughs> I try to have that kind of some energy. Achilles. <laughs> mm. <laughs> But yeah, Achilles as a character, uh, I really want to see more of him because I feel like we haven't gotten that much development on his story or his background. Mm. Um, so what kind of development in his character would you like to see? I think I would like to see Achilles being in love. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean... How how do he acts when he's in love? That's mm-hmm. that's my question. Also, also me, I really don't know what's 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 Achilles during that time. Maybe is he flirty? Is he like strict? You know, what what? I'm really excited if if something's gonna happen to Achilles. 
Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't see that for sure. I also feel like even though he doesn't need love, he deserves it. So I would love to see that for him. Mm -hmm. Um, what are your opinions on the characters of Wesley and Terrence? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm really happy for them. Like Wesley is a great person. Terrence is, you know, he's also a great person. He's very loving, and I think Wesley is very intelligent person, and he could understand Terrence the way he acts. Maybe that's why he, they really connected to each other. Because mm. maybe West is really giving a good attention to parents and parents is getting what he really needs. So yeah, I'm happy for them. But <laughs> <laughs> Kill is going down. Kelly oh, keeps so jumping true. out. That was yeah, such yeah. a heavy I'm happy for them. <laughs> yeah. Begrudgingly. <laughs> I'm not curious. Uh, <laughs> I'm welcome. I'm welcome, baby. I'm welcome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, you've you've done a lot of acting in different things, not just Game Boys. Uh, I finally finished Kaleo 15 last night. Um, I really want to know what it was like filming that movie and just seeing it get so many accolades. Um, you know, it's also crazy because we didn't know that it's going to blow up. Mm. It's really, it's, it's really crazy. I mean, for me, it, it was also accident when they going to cast me there. It's also an accident. So it's like, ooh, you're, you're making it fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what Kaleo 15 is about, it's basically like Elijah plays this character who has HIV and he's just kind of like navigating through his life, which he has a pretty shitty life. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's just him trying to deal with the illness along with a lot of other things in his mm. life. But yeah, what message do you did you take away from that movie or that you think others should take away from it? Don't judge people. Mm. Like, you you really don't know where they came from. And it's, as as being Kalel, it's, being a teenager is also hard, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, Everything is new to you. And then you have this, you have this illness. So, Guys, don't judge other people. You have to know their backstory first before mm-hmm. judging people. And if you're, you want to say anything bad, just keep it to yourself. Mm. You know, just keep it in your mind. You don't have to say everything. Right. It's so easy to just keep it in your head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people like growing up with the internet and stuff, people, younger generations, especially uh, don't know to um, not say everything that's on their mind, like (laughs) growing up with Twitter and stuff, I can imagine everyone is so used to just like putting stuff out there the second they think about it. And, And you don't give yourself enough time to actually think and process and yeah, so so it's it's a good it's a good message to tell people to stop uh, stop and don't judge as much and just think a little bit like we're all humans so that's very well said <laughs> um you also had another short film called how to die young in manila that was with elijah and kokoi how was that uh, it was fun because I saw that there was an like, an Elikoi connection. I was the one who saw it first in the Game Boy scan. Like, oh, Elikoi connection. <laughs> it, it was a great project. Um, me and Kokoi were uh, friends before doing that and Elijah. So working with your friends is really fun. Mm-hmm. And it's an art film. So it's it's a really good film with the like, uh, oh, what's his name? Um. It's the name of the director, I forgot. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's it. It's really it's a good it's a good production. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long have you known um just like 
people under idea first how long have you been working with them as a company um as a company i started in 2018 that was the time that i really want to pursue this film but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. during that time i was not under idea first i was a freelance actor during that time right mm-hmm. so yeah but the the time that they got me that was like when during the pandemic when i was oh, wow. in game boys oh, so it hasn't been yeah. that long yeah yeah that also kind of speaks to um the family dynamic mm. because it hasn't been that long but it seems like everyone beca- became really close probably through the pandemic and also mm. through being in the pandemic <laughs> Yeah, I would have thought, you know, you guys are like decades old friends from, you know, how your interactions are. It's really cool to see. Yeah, yeah I think it's so weird that um, in the pandemic, we've been like closed off in our rooms and our houses and stuff. And we still managed to get like closer to people than we did mm. before the pandemic, right? Because we've been so hungry for some connection. <laughs> yeah. Connection, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. um, Are you working on any other, this doesn't have to be like films or TV, but are there any projects that you're working on right now that you could kind of hint to or tease maybe? Um, Right now, none yet. It's all about Game Boys. But I have uh, have a film, a short film right now that is showing. Masalimot Yet Tagyao. You can watch it in Cine Halaga using Vimeo. So yeah, guys, you can watch it. (laughs) <laughs> I was gonna say you just okay. launched launched your business. You said um, if you want yeah. to talk a little bit about that, some mm, promo sure. in. <laughs> Good marketing. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just being blunt. <laughs> yeah, so I started my 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 collection. Uh, this is my first collection, the back to school collection, because here in the Philippines it's back to school. So I just want to yeah. put it in, and also I'm also coming into school that's why okay back to school kids so, yeah you know, back <laughs> you to gotta school get in that mindset <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. but you know uh splendida is really uh uh it's really important to me because mm-hmm. uh this is kind of weird but i'm gonna i, I want i want to share it um uh, mm-hmm. before the first cycle in game boys we checked in in the splendido hotel uh um, right. right there that that's the name of the hotel and my brand oh, is yeah. splendido so when I get there, um, you know, sometimes you have questions in your mind as a person, mm-hmm. right? So during that time, what's what's the real me? What's the real kitsch? What does he really do? What does he really, he really want? So mm-hmm. by that time, I, I, I knew myself like, oh, I want this. I really want this. When I was in, in Splendido. So yeah, Splendido really made the mark to me. So this time I was like, I was like, I think I have to, I want to make something that really kicks on my interest. Like, I want to do a business mm. that also in my interest. So, I want fashion. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, I made this. And also, I want to make my own style. Mm. Right. So, what, what, are you, what are you selling? Like, what's in the merch line right now? Right now, I have two shirts. Uh Mm-hmm. I have the varsity blue and the puppy pink. <laughs> yes. Yeah, puppy pink. Cute. <laughs> yeah, cute. But right now, I'm already preparing my second collection. It's an yes. animal collection. So I'm really excited Ooh. to produce it. So yeah. Yay. <laughs> Stealing some spices. <laughs> oh. Where can that sounds you... like so much fun. Where yeah. can you order? Um, from your collection, do you have a website? Yeah, I have a Google form because right now I can't manage to have a website right now because mm-hmm. I'm just starting. I launched my yeah. business like last week. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah, That's right. very new. <laughs> yeah, and we're just one. We're just three at the team. Mm-hmm. So just we're just three. Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah. moving about uh, moving the tracking, the packaging, everything. Mm-hmm. But someone is replying to my Instagram, so it's very mm-hmm. nice cool <laughs> yeah that works i i i do do you take like orders from all over the world yeah 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 mm-hmm. because i really want splendido to go all over the world mm-hmm. like i want to spread my pace 
my special mm. I mean mm-hmm. because it's me it's Kitch is like Splendido Mr. Splendido mm-hmm. something like that so <laughs> I really want to share it with people Mr. Splendido <laughs> yeah Mr. Splendido <laughs> new you know, hashtag in like five years you're you're gonna be like the Mr. Splendido guy <laughs> yeah. oh no Mr. Splendido is here oh my god <laughs> They're not gonna call me Kitch anymore. <laughs> Kitch is no more. Yeah. Cancel. That's Kitch so... is cancel. <laughs> Let's go to Mr. Splendido. Mr. Splendido. Yeah. Awesome. And I just want to add up one thing. Splendido is also my gaming name. Like all oh, of my gaming right. names is Splendido. Yeah. Mm. That's very. I well. get that. It's yeah. Something. Yeah. You play games. Yeah. Pixie yeah, does. I, I do. <laughs> you play I Valorant? Do. You play Valorant? I haven't played Valorant yet. <laughs> oh. I do. I I played um, mostly uh, through the years. I played League of Legends and um, World of Warcraft. I met my boyfriend playing um, Star Wars online. Oh, it's like the Game Old Boys. Republic. <laughs> like <Game Boys. laughs> That's why you love Game Boys. <laughs> yeah. that you don't need dating relationship. apps. Just yeah. use gaming. Yeah. <laughs> I could. I, I hope I could find mine also. <laughs> no, I'm just yeah. kidding. Self love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, 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 I love gaming. It's um, it was a big part of my life before I had the kids. Um, now with a six-year-old and a three-year-old, you don't wow. <laughs> get much time for gaming anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> they're the ones playing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> watch them yep. game <laughs> yeah yeah but like i i have my own business and i do like i i'm really impressed that you're doing all of this with uh, splendido it, i know how much work it is it's to put down in something like that and especially this time with the pandemic and mm. just starting up with something new is really big so yeah. i i'm really impressed and and it looks great yeah. Actually, this is my second business during pandemic. The first one was mm, the wow. food business. But, right. you know, sometimes shit happens with your friends, mm. so mm. you have to leave it there mm. and move on. Make my yeah, own. right. Yeah. yeah. You know, the better Number things. one rule in business is just move on. Because, you know, uh, being success in business, you have a ticket. You have to fail. Yeah. That's your ticket yeah. to success. Yeah. I believe mm-hmm. in that. That's why. Right. Mm-hmm. So, but I hope Splendido will not fail. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> buddy, don't fail, buddy. <laughs> I know it's a ticket, but don't don't be like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mister no, Splendido is gonna carry you. <laughs> yeah, I got you. No, f- I got you. <laughs> from what I can see, from what I've seen from the pictures of the t-shirts and stuff, it looks like it's really good quality. Mm. And um, I I have a. I have an eye for stuff like that. I, I work with cleaning <laughs> clothes, so I know oh. <laughs> about quality. <laughs> you get so the pixie really seal good. approval. I really want to yes. make it. I really want to make it premium. Like I really yeah. want uh, the consumers to be like when they got the package because this is my package. I just want to share it with you guys. Mm-hmm. This is my package. Yeah, and I saw. I think it's, it's so, so cool. Cute. Here in the Philippines, oh. you we you use it for cookies for brownies oh, i was gonna say yeah we have, we have like yeah. donuts in the u.s we have like dunkin donuts come in those little packages so i'm yeah. like it reminds me of donuts which is yeah. a good thing but, <laughs> yeah but i wanna i wanna make it crazy like, mm. i wanna make mm. crazy packaging mm-hmm. so when you get I the packages that. as a consumer it's like i don't know i feel the premium vibe like opening it yeah unpacking yeah. it it's an experience so, yeah. yeah it's an experience so it's like you're opening it's like a, a different 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 packaging for the different collection. I mean, mm-hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. Makes you want to buy everyone so you can get all the different packaging and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Marketing. laughs> Big brain. Big brain. <laughs> yeah, I've always um, been like, it's more important for me to have something with good quality because uh, I'm very... Um, conscious about the environment and if Mm. you have something that's good quality it's gonna last you a long time and Mm. that's a lot better for the environment like the number one cause of um pollution and stuff is uh clothes making it's like the dye and the clothes and the cotton and um, material and everything it's the worst 
like uh, environmental enemy. But when you're making something with quality, it's going to last you longer. So mm -hmm. I love that. Dropping that knowledge on us. <laughs> Sharing something. <laughs> also, I just want to add, that's why I really want Splendid to have a good quality because it's me. But like what I told a while ago, mm -hmm. I want to value myself. So I want to value mm -hmm. my shirt like how I value myself. Yeah. Good packaging. <laughs> <laughs> and good and a good product inside too. Yeah. Yes. That's inside and out. All around. Yeah. yeah. All around. Well, that. if I've gathered anything, it's that you manifest everything that you want. So I guess as long as you keep thinking this company mm -hmm. is very successful it probably <laughs> will be because mm -hmm. that's helped you in theater and with game boys yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah um you also sing <laughs> i saw Ooh. you've been releasing covers on your youtube channel mm -hmm. um i think the most recent one was shinobi i watched yeah. that one i really liked it mm -hmm. um Thank so you. <laughs> how did you start singing was it just like when you got into theater or did you like singing even before that when you were like a kid yeah I, I actually started in theater because the first play that I went to was um, musical theater but mm -hmm. you know yeah. that time I really don't know that I am going into a theater workshop it was mm. also an accident to be honest like, <laughs> Accident, <laughs> <laughs> no, because that time I really want to be in film in the showbiz industry. Mm -hmm. So I asked my mom if I could go to a workshop. So she tried to find a workshop, but I thought it was like a TV workshop. I didn't know it mm -hmm. was like a theater. musical theater workshop. A theater yeah. workshop, like you have, to, <laughs> you, you have to memorize the whole lines and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like the first. The first time I really don't want theater because it's really hard. Mm. But you know, sometimes the things that you don't want it, it's the things that who's gonna embrace you. Yeah. If it's really for I you, it's that. for you. So mm -hmm. yeah, I got it from theater. Then um I I think I I had this gigs like singing to different birthdays, events. So it really pushed me a lot to improve my my boys also <laughs> no i was just gonna say i i really really envy people young people who know what they want to do early on it took me like 30 years to figure out what i really like i can't even imagine that so i i, I so like i have so much respect and envy for younger people who just know what they want to do just work at it from yeah. day yeah. one it's really awesome Actually, the reason that why, that's why I started my covers because I want the record labels to notice me. Because, mm. you know, if you're not, if you, you can sing, yeah, but you're not showing it to people. Right. So right now, I, I really, my focus right now is if people, there's no gigs right now. So I just want to share my platform. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll make my own story, you know. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's nice. in my mind right now. That's awesome. I'll make my own path. I'll mm -hmm. do everything. It's, it's going <laughs> to be hard right now because... <laughs> Every week I drop my Monday cover and I have this splendido and I go to school and I do live streaming also. So, oh my God, you know, You're it's doing really it crazy. all. <laughs> yeah, doing it all. But, you know, sometimes it's it's the process. You just have to enjoy it. Don't stress mm -hmm. too much because mm -hmm. there's there's no success without hardship, right? Mm -hmm. For instance. Yeah. 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 I mean, anything that's worth doing is going to be hard. Yeah. to do so it life isn't easy and anything worth having is not going to be easy to get so mm. it's good to have something you can work for mm. and you should really have to go off your comfort zone mm -hmm. yeah definitely <laughs> yes <laughs> by that you will explore the new things that you can do your new skills mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. mm. definitely yeah um do you have any plans to release your own original music um 
yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was I was thinking that time I was like, should I say it? But yeah, I think yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm already uh doing a meetings with my friends who's mm, producing nice. and mixing my music. Uh, I want to share my own taste of music also. So yeah. I think I, I'm more focused on Tagalog music right now because I really mm. want to pursue the OPM because okay. we have, I have, I mean, I'm really proud of OPM right now because everything is going great to the industry. So I just want to share mm-hmm. something to OPM music right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get that. Uh, do you have a favorite cover or that you've done or maybe a song that you want to cover? Uh... Mm, right now, I think my favorite cover is yeah the one that you told me a while ago that you watched the Shinobi. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> everyone should watch like, that. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it's the vibe that I want, the the kind of yeah. music that I want to produce. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You know, something like you're just chill, saying something, doing your thing. That's what mm-hmm. I want. That's good mm-hmm. music. <laughs> just vibing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, vibing. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have to ask for you to sing us a snippet you just went right into it i love it <laughs> i love it for vibing <laughs> yeah yeah <Good vibes>. yeah <laughs> Yeah, I I think if it has the same vibe as your recent cover, I think a lot of people are going to be into that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, you mentioned that you stream. Do you stream on Twitch? Oh uh, no, I stream in Beagle Live. If you're ah, familiar. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do streaming in Beagle Live, but I'm planning to do streaming on gaming already because I just had my desktop setup so that's why nice. i use it right now this is the first time that i use it for an interview nice <laughs> so exciting oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah so but i still don't know how to fit in the schedule because yeah I'm doing right. A lot of right now <laughs> yeah you but sound I, really I, busy I really love, <laughs> yeah but i really yeah. love gaming that's why instead of like playing without uh without streams i think it's good to you know uh I mean, you're doing a productive thing while while playing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I I heard from a lot of people that do like streaming, gaming, streaming and stuff. It's it's a great way to like connect with the fans without making it too formal and too much. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite game right now? Right or now, I play COD Mobile. If you heard that, God, oh, well. <laughs> it's really, I'm really addicted to that before, but right now I can't play also because I'm really busy. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad. That's a game, I feel you, you know that. I feel right? you. <laughs> it's like, man, I want to play, but I think it, uh, time is gold. <laughs> focus, yeah. focus on your goals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel the same. Like I have to wait like uh, until my kids are eighteen and move out, and then I can start <laughs> and my new game again. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy it for sure. <laughs> yeah, I really miss it. It's 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 a good time. But if I'm gonna do gaming, I need to like sit down and do it for a couple of hours. Like you can't yeah. get into it if you just do like thirty minutes. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> struggle the gaming the gaming struggle yeah <laughs> yeah you know you know kids who don't have like anything work to do or anything they don't know how good they have it they can just sit down yeah. and game and game like yeah. adults yeah. adults need to work <laughs> yeah. sometimes kids are really competitive with adults oh you know my rank mm-hmm. is really high right now um, really but you know, as an adult, I, you know, I could just beat you, but right now I am I'm focused on this, so I can go on that path also. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if um, you have time recently, but your fans really want to know if you've been watching any movies or TV series recently, and like if you have, what are they? Right now, I really 
don't watch any film right now. I really don't <laughs> have time. So, uh, uh, I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. Yeah, I think the last movie that I watched is Game Boys. <laughs> yeah. Game Boys. So for real. Well, it's a good movie to watch. Yeah. <laughs> good recommendation. Good choice. <laughs> so guys, watch Game Boys, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Starting a new series is really an investment of your time. Yeah. yeah. It, especially if it's like a long one that you're binging. Mm-hmm. And it, sometimes yeah. you just want to watch it in one whole day. Yeah. yeah. Right? You just sit down you and get through it. all of it. <laughs> yeah. And but yeah, that by anymore. the time when you finish the, the series, it's like, oh no, it's done. That's it. <laughs> now what do I do with my life? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's next? What's next? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You have to come back to the real world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get like post TV show uh, depression. Just yeah, for real. <laughs> what am I gonna do with my life now? Yeah. So sometimes you also feel the feel of like I think I'm part of this production. Yeah. You know, after the scene, it's like, oh no, I've been part of this production, and now it's and it's now it's done. Part. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> My heart. Uh. <laughs> um, I we always ask this question because I feel like it's really interesting and gives a lot of insight into a person. But like, what is your favorite genre to watch? I love rom com. Mm, that's the good stuff. Yes. Yeah, because uh, for me, I mean. As a person, I really, I really want spreading love and peace mm. and happiness mm. to other people, because sometimes you really don't know the people that they're going through, the the people that you're talking with, you don't know what they're going through, right? So, it's it's really good to to have a memory with them that if they they think about your name, oh, this guy is sending a good energy. He's really a mm. funny person. So mm. I want to do a rom com film, and. Uh, you know, some love theme, something like that. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that's my favorite genre. If I'm bored yeah. and I want to watch films, rom com is a good film. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, is there an actor that you would like to work with in the future? Hmm. Uh, it's kind of hard, but I yeah. think I wanna. Work with hmm. <laughs> Brad Pitt, I guess. Yeah, oh, dream yeah. big. Yeah. Dream big. Start manifesting. You'll never know. Manifest. <laughs> Maybe next time you're gonna interview me and Brad Pitt. So yeah. <laughs> sitting right now. Bro, these are my friends. They're gonna interview us. So what can you say about it? <laughs> That's how I manifest. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna hold you to this if this ever happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's record this day. Yeah, okay? I see you. <laughs> we have to do an interview if I'm really with Brad Pitt. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. like that. Yes. 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 Ask Brad Pitt about boys' love. I'm sure that would. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so oh, awesome. What's up? <laughs> What if me and Brad Pitt had like a boys' love series? Uh, <laughs> I would watch that. <laughs> that would be oh amazing. My gosh. <laughs> I literally oh, my cheeks imagine hurt. <laughs> me also. You know how BLs are like filmed in a certain style <laughs> with like the with the really long camera shots and like the mm-hmm. sound, the sound. I'm just imagining. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> that would be amazing. I want to see it happen now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Oh. Brad Pitt will wreck me out. <laughs> <He's just laughs> <a stronger. laughs> that's how you Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, yeah, someone's no, gonna no. find this video and they're gonna make like a deep fake with your face and Brad's, <laughs> Brad's face. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. 
Oh my gosh, I, I need someone I to make a meme of you and Brad Pitt. <laughs> 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 Game Boys will be nominated with you know, uh, Brad Pitt's film. I think the they're next, gonna. They're, the next Emmys. Series, right? <laughs> you never <Yeah>. know. <laughs> Manifesting. <laughs> Manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, or. We could always have Brad Pitt in Game Boy. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh yes. Yes. I mean, make it I mean, happen. Gabriel is going to New York. You know, he could run yeah. into Brad Pitt there. <laughs> oh, Bring it's him possible. Back. <laughs> it's like it's daddy time. <laughs> We're already creating our own stories. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is gonna spark like fan fictions and stuff. <laughs> Achilles X Brad Pitt fan fiction. We're already making the season three. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's a, it's a pre production for season three. <laughs> This is a spoiler. This whole thing has been a spoiler for season three of Game Boys. Uh, we are kidding, but are we really kidding? <laughs> you'll, you'll never know. Never know. Never know. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, everyone watch out for Game Boys 2.5 with Kitsch and Brad. 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 <laughs> Special episode. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I think that's the time we're gonna and people will say right in front of my salad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Not the meme. Ash, Not shout the out to meme. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Sorry, Brad Pitt. Sorry. <laughs> 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 that, oh. well, that is the perfect <laughs> note to end on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I just, my, hurt, my jaw hurts really. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I've never laughed this early. I mean, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't think I've ever laughed this early in the morning before. <laughs> a great day. A great day. It's a great <laughs> way to I wake did. up. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going back to sleep after this. <laughs> I will need coffee after this. <laughs> oh, I have so much energy now. <laughs> oh my God. And energy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Getting back down to our... <laughs> Her last question. Um, uh, just like one last question, or I guess question. What is one message that you'd like to give to your fans? You know, they they gave pretty much all these questions. So what would you like to say to them? Uh, first, I, I want to thank the people who really believes in me, like mm-hmm. Kitch Nation, uh, Kitch Angels, Kitch Defender. Um <laughs> All of them, Game Boys PH, to all the fans, I'm really thankful to have you guys. Even though we go to different platforms, different projects, you still support us. And I'm really thankful to Game Boys also. I, I also want to thank my idea first family, mm. my friends, my family, uh, the cast, the crew, Direct Percy, Direct Ivan, Direct June, Eli, Kokoy. Um, Miggy, Kyle, and Adriana for being a great friend inside and outside of our work. Cute. Yeah. So sweet. Oh, love you guys. Love you, friends. I love you. <laughs> that has been <laughs> our interview with Kitch. Thank yes. you for coming on. This is so Thank fun. So much, guys. Yeah. So fun. Thank you so much for I, coming A while on. ago, I was really nervous, but it, it was a good interview. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. We try to make things chill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, this was it really was, fun. It was really chill. I forgot this is interview. I thought we were just yeah. Zoom. Like, you know, <laughs> talk to my friends. What's up? How are you? <laughs> up. We're just friends having a chat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chatting about Brad Pitt. <laughs> and normal <laughs> night. Gossip normal Saturday and, night. Yeah. <laughs> and season three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
No, that's yeah. that's great to hear because that's the kind of vibe that we go for on this show. Yeah. How do you do it? Thank you so much for listening, everyone. Make sure you check out our social media. Also check out Kisha's social media. You find us now on TikTok. We have a lot of fun videos, especially mm. our guest uh, BL videos, uh, where I am in the shower fully clothed uh, on one of them. So <laughs> go check it out. The effort is maximum going into these TikToks. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and you find on YouTube, you can see our faces and Kish's face. And yes. on uh, our podcasting platforms, you uh, should leave a review uh, if you can. And on YouTube, subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. Yes. And yeah, we will see you guys next week. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, Kish. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs>